you guys uh, kind of surveyed the study pretty thoroughly. Um, yeah, the bookshelves. There's nothing like the bookshelves are clearly up against the exterior wall. They're not like they're, right. Okay. Okay. Right. And and the books, as I said, are really it's it's a fine collection. Like you feel like if you guys had like a a wagon and could take these to a town like or a city even better, like you you could sell this stuff for a, a nice tidy sum. Until like it's tell, until we tell them we found it. It's a it's a hearty collection. Okay. It didn't say it's um, is there a fireplace in this room? How's how's this house heated? Um. Not in this room, but in the parlor across the way, you did see a fireplace as well as very nice furniture. I'm just saying, um, I don't want to necessarily carry this torch everywhere since it's lighting up in here that we can see. Maybe I put it down someplace safe, like a fireplace, or yeah. we could always go back for it. Yeah. So I just put the end of the torch, like if there's iron like things in front of the fireplace. I should posit that there are sconces with candles. Oh. Like in every room and all the way down the hallways. Of are course, they, the candles are, are not, we get the candles are not lit. Hey guys, we, time to go. After we turned around, they were. Yeah. <laughs> Wait Once I a rang minute. that bell. <laughs> um, all right, well, I guess we can light sconces in this room. It's not gonna hurt anything. Are the candles still in there? Yeah, mm, they're right. like, you know, they, they look like they were changed out well, at like some point. In this room. We'll just like the yeah. candles as we go. It doesn't this place looks like it was totally abandoned out of nowhere and given away, essentially. We don't even need this anymore. Well, wait, wait, here, like, hold on a second. No right? So, but hold on. All right, so our memories are a little faulty. But all of a sudden, something happened, and we weren't where we but were. But nobody remembers, right? No, but what if this all happened at the same time? What if us disappearing and... Him disappearing. Him disappearing was all because it's not like he's still alive. There was you think? stuff still happening. The books were open. You think he's still alive? Maybe. Maybe. That's not a bad idea. Maybe he's still alive. Maybe. I mean, everybody disappeared. I mean, I'm assuming we disappeared from where we were. Well, yeah, but and reappeared know. someplace else. So what about these people? Did but they here's the thing about that disappearance, though: is it's not like we were in any form of like stasis or preservation we aged like and we aged without like still being able to walk and still being able to do everything we were able to do like like i've seen injuries on the battlefield where like if they are off their feet for a long time that's not great you know what i mean so why are we still muscular and able to we don't have any sort of scars like the person we saw no burn marks nothing like that no indications that we got shocked by something no okay you, All right. just, just so I'm not really keen. I mean, I'd be happy to check other people, but I'm not <laughs> the priest look for like no, no, signs yeah, of the devil on me. I think we would have. He seems a little even felt the scar, right? Or we would have thought so, yeah. or something. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we explore the rest of the room and like sconces as we go. Okay. Um, you go across the hallway to the parlor. It is again which like is, which is very really nicely correct. decorated. Should we put our guys on the board? Or? Um, guys on the board? Yeah. Yes. Sure. So we're here? Yeah. Okay. Um, the parlor is open. It's not like it's a, or we're in the parlor. This is the parlor slash entryway, or? That's the entryway. This, this is, is not office. to scale, so this it doesn't really office. matter. Right. That's it's, the it's, parlor? Yeah. And it's not like, there's no closed door to the parlor. There, It's double doors, but they're open. Wide open. Yeah. Can we check out the parlor? I mean, we're here to explore. Yeah, yeah I'm here. <laughs> OK. Um, the parlor is very well decorated. You, you have comfortable seating, everything's covered in dust. Okay. Um, the windows that face outside, you could see through the window, like beyond the wall, there's the tower and you see the four spikes. Um, so window with glass? Yes, leaded, intact, not broken, which is not vandalized. Clear which glass. Is, it's, like it's a little- High quality glass? Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's a little- What are the odds of glass lasting 18 years without? Mm -hmm. It's a little dirty, but not. But here's the thing: is there any sort of wood rot around the windows or anything like that? Maybe minor weathering from from like moisture. It's weird, but the keep is unkept though. Like you said, that there's pieces of bricks that were, you know. Right. What part of the keep had the is the collapse or the the more dilapidated part of this keep closer to this? Obelisk? The exterior buildings that the aren't attached the to the main stables. building. Those were like the the blacksmith right. and and the stables. Those were like, but everything that was made of stone as a seems to be pretty okay. decent. Okay. Um, well, we'll check out the parlor. I guess. Yeah. Is there anything unusual in the parlor? Nope. There are nope. a few 
a few like uh, nice decorations, like on on small pedestals, uh, like little statues, Probably and where something again if we got a cart. But. Yeah, um, some paintings on the wall. Oh, that's interesting. What are the paintings? Of? The paintings seem to be like family portraits. Anybody who looks. Well, I wouldn't mind knowing what people might possibly look like if they come up to us. So, like, uh, okay, yeah, just kind of take a gander. And are there little plaques under each portrait? There are not. Are there any like distinguishing like hair color, eye color? Like, are they all blonde? Or um, they they all seem to have dark hair. Uh, like in one of the family portraits that looks a little bit older, there's like a you know woman with with like long brown hair and a man with black hair and. Prominent um, noses or any distinguishing facial features? No, pretty pretty much look like no, people no, from no. the region. Run of the mill white How people. How many paintings right. are we talking about? Um, you I see, you see, like one things. of the older paint. There's like maybe four, mm -hmm. and you you kind of by context gather that these are maybe generational, right? Mm -hmm. So like the oldest looking one, the man in the portrait seems to have a warmer skin tone, much like you would find from some of the families in Southport. Uh, the others are kind of more fair-skinned. Is there any jewelry or anything on the people? Yes, I mean, in all the portraits, they look very well-dressed. Anything of the one true God on any of the paintings? Um, I'll say that like in... in a couple of them? A, a couple of them, uh, there's, you know, they're, they're, they're posed and maybe, you know, somebody has like a, a, a necklace or... All right. But any books like that, black book? No. no. You interestingly don't see any of that depicted in any of the portraits. It's good shape, you said, right? It's just dusty. Yes. It's interesting. Yeah. Is there a rug? There is. I feel around the rug and feel like there's anything like a tra trap drawer. Nope. Nothing underneath the rug. Okay. Okay. I don't. Is there any seat that's facing the window, like facing specifically to look out the window at that thing? There are, no, okay. that's a good question. The seats are all kind of facing inward to the room. Yeah, and like conversational setups. There's like a in settee, a perfect couple chairs. Uh, okay. There is a fireplace in the parlor and it's, mm -hmm. you know, got. Doesn't look like it's been used in. No, forever. no. Um, Firewood next to the fireplace? Yes. Just in case we need to camp down yep. later. Um, right, but... And even, you know, some iron tools. Like what? Like for. Like, uh, you know, poker and, poker. yeah. All right. All right. Um, you head down the hall. You okay. see further down the hall, there's a dining room. Very, again, very nicely appointed. Um, there's a mirror on the wall in the dining room. Yep, on the bigger room. Okay. There's a mirror on the wall in the dining room that is, you know, looks like it would be worth a lot of money. Can we go back to the parlor? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is there anything behind the paintings? You kind of lift them off. Nope. Nothing. No it just notes looks or, very clean. No notes or messages on the inside. Right. No. I'd be the same with the mirror in the dining room. Is what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah. Nothing hidden. Dining room table looks like it, it could easily seat like twelve people. Um, chairs, very nicely. Chairs, like you know, the wood is very nice. Um, there is a uh, what do you call the thing that has like the storage buffet? buffet. Yeah. There's like a buffet, and you know, you open the the uh, cabinet doors and, and there's, you know, nice glass and, and, and crystal and silver and plates and stuff. Does it concern anyone else that this hasn't been looted by anyone else? Yeah, yeah totally. Right? Uh, this, again, would be worth a fair price in any city. I mean, we may come back and take Like, this is finer stuff than you would find in any little manor. village. If it wasn't next to an here. evil tower, you could just take this manor. He's the, I have, he's, there's no claim to it. Right? I am. That, that, I'm not gonna say that thought's not run through my mind. I mean, it never hurts to have a party to have a base of operations. <laughs> right? Exactly. Um, yeah. All right. The uh, across the way from that is a smaller room, and it is a uh, privy, An indoor privy. And there's oh. there's like a, a wash so basin. The rest of you guys don't just dig a hole. There are in nice like linens. <laughs> so um, Fifty guys standing around you because you just don't care. No. Don't do don't you have servants hold stuff out for you to poop in? No, no, we dig a hole, oh, yeah, right? Different. And then we cover the hole because we don't want, no? And then we find whatever leaves or anything in the thing around us or, you know, burlap. And, and, and a 
a pinch, I suppose. I mean, do, do, well, yeah. do what you got to do. I guess. Do I remember which, like, no, I'm slightly metagaming, but now know. that they're talking about, like, having finery versus not, do I remember which part, or, like, which faction of the church I belong to, the one that's got a little East bit more... Uh, you're probably more finery. Yeah, east or west? West. Okay, I know yeah. this for sure. Okay. So you're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, good stuff. Right. Why would you put you that you're fairly certain <laughs> that <laughs> you're fairly certain that um, the Western Church is the order to which you okay. were were so, um, ordained. I'm going to look down the privy and see if there's anything down there. I'm going to maybe shine the torch down there. Really. It looks Traffic bone here. dry, um, and it looks essentially like it's it's dry. like it goes on an angle. Wait, I was like anyone. Oh, so like out, outside. yeah, to, like a oh, shoot, basically. Like, rope. Is that what they call it? The part that sticks out from the... Uh, yeah, and you, you see, the, like, if you're holding your yeah. torch, you could see there's, there's like, a wooden hinged uh, panel. That you can, like, let Like, you could out. hear, like, your torch is, like, like drawing, you know, because right. it, it looks like that's where maybe it drained out. Say we need to go. Um, <laughs> further down the hall, kitchens. Kitchens? Completely stocked. Pots, pans cooking utensils. Pantry? The pantry is full of rotten food. Just, yes. just. Just totally rotten. Yeah, even even the jars, like the cans and, you know, uh, uh, preserved stuff is botulism. Would like, it be seen, popped, like, exploded. This is the biggest kitchen I've ever seen? Um, no. You're fairly certain you have memories of being in larger places. Okay. But this is a, it, it's, everything's there. There is a is back it? door that leads out. Okay, well, that's good. We didn't find that before. Does it look like food was being prepared when everyone abandoned everything? Does it look like there was like rotten food on the cutting boards and stuff? Like it looks like no, 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 no. It doesn't look like abandoned? no, not like that. Okay. Um, it looks like it was left as 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 it was. All right. Uh, the back door is like a, a just a single door. Yeah, and it, it leads out to kind of a porch. Um, from the porch, there are stairs that go outside to a small wooden house with a, a closed door, like Care a keeper. shed, basically a large shed. Okay. Um, no, you're you're not quite sure what this was, but and then there's a set of stairs that go down, as if to some kind of cellar. Uh, are these windows? Yes. Okay. What was this pantry? Yeah. Okay. And this so, was kitchen. And, and again, towards the front entrance was stairs that went up. Well, do we check out, we're on this floor, should we check out that house? Yeah. So right. so maybe, a wooden deck. maybe even the... Yeah, cellar? so there, it's, it's kind of like a wooden back porch, stairs, and about 15 feet back is a little shed. Is it shed. safe? So this uh, was the, the, curious. I, I mean, the stairs are... are usable? Yeah, they're, they're obviously like you're looking at it and you're, it's, it's, it's weather. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, like a balcony, you mean? Balcony, anything. No, just, just a little uh, slanted roof off the back of the porch. What was the security on this door like at one point? Was it like barred? And, like, it wasn't locked. But was it like, is there a way to put a bar across or anything? Yeah, like there's, there's like you see the, you know, chunk of wood on the inside. But there's no like um, things on the windows, like bars on the windows or anything like no. that? No. Okay. We can't have been the only people to think to come to look in this place to Unless loot. Like there was even, even a guy here trying to loot something with lock picks and a, yeah, and. Yeah, but he didn't go here. Right. He went straight to the tower. So, but there's got to be a reason why people have totally avoided this well, place and nothing is locked. The, the gates Jonas, are wide open. Did the Jonas say that coming here was death? Did they say that? They definitely were place? like, you know, you don't want to go there. Right. And maybe that's the maybe that's the lore. Maybe that's how he's kept people away. He's either, either there is a real danger here or. There's a lore of danger to keep people away. Right, but I'm, I'm even thinking like these mongrel folk or some low people or even just one criminal who would want to come in here. Yeah, the low people, yes. I don't know if the mongrel folk would really need anything from here, really. Right. Say. Even the, but even the food, like just to, yeah. to grab that stuff. Huh? Maybe they don't eat that kind of stuff. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know anything about mongrel folk. Yeah. You, you see there's some flies kind of by that shed, outhouse shed. Okay. I'm, all, I'm all for checking out. I'm a little worried about the uh, the wood. I mean, yeah, the stairs. All of us. I mean, can we go through the front door now that we know where this is and go around to the back? Because we got through the front door, fine. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. All right, so you go back out. You walk around the yards. 
you go to the building. At, as you get within five feet, you you can smell a mixture of kind of like smoky smell, like you know, mm -hmm. fireplace, uh, like campfire. A yes, but also flies. So a smokehouse with meat left in it. Gross. Well, let's open it up. In fact, that's what you find. Although, whatever meat was hanging long since rotted and it's like kind of clumped and desiccated on the ground. Some flies kind of that's scatter so when you kind of come in there. I, I mean, it's it's basically mummified at this point. I am yeah. confused by the timing of this. Because it, 19 years, years, 19 years. Was the last entry in the ledger, right? 17 years, but yeah. 17 years. One so year before, 20, 20 or 1219. When, when were we riding to this place? Was it the same day? Like, did they have a day in the ledger? No. Um, for us, I, I think that the time that passed was between 1220 and 1236. So we were out for 16 years. Yep. So one year passed. Yeah, one year after. After we didn't make it to the tower, yeah. he gave up everything, and then this place was abandoned. But I guess was, after 17 years, there would be, was there like a. Well, you know more about politics than I do. So also, why was there no political struggle for his holdings. Like, yeah. why didn't another lord or someone who wanted to be a lord say, hey, if you're going to give up this fiefdom or whatever it's called, I'll take it. Well, maybe people don't know that they wanted to give it but up. I think and it was public, right? It was public knowledge. When we talked to the people, the farmers, the it, was, it was pretty public that he's just like, I don't want anything to do with it anymore. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't anyone try to see Well, power? bear in mind that their perspective was he stopped collecting taxes, he stopped making visits to any of the farms, Maybe he just died or again disappeared like we did and we just couldn't collect taxes. Because when you said you said you saw a book that said like that or was it you that had taxes collections mm -hmm. and everything in it. Mm -hmm. To just stop collecting taxes. Maybe he did disappear like us. That's a really good point. But it seems like he knew he was going to disappear. Maybe. But why or write maybe, that letter? I mean, because you make I don't know, you make a deal with the old gods. Maybe you don't know the full ramifications of that deal. That's what I'm saying. Like, there was a reason why this person went bye-bye, whether he knew it or not. Which concerns me, because why did we disappear? Right. I don't make no damn deals with the old guy. Well, I close this door. The door is... Or so you claim. I claim. Uh, you said there was another... Yeah, door. so if you look at the back, the you cellar? can see that there are stairs that go down to another door that looks like it's a cellar. Cellar, anyone? No, it's the... Yeah, who doesn't want to go in the scary basement of the haunted mansion? We, we Tell you what, torches. you and Shaggy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Daphne, but Fred. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go to the cellar. We'll listen first before we open. Okay. You don't hear anything. The door is locked. Uh, there is moss growing on the bottom of the door. It's damp because obviously, like water has settled there. Green. And it doesn't look like the moss has been disturbed in forever. No. And it's solid? and it's shaded because it's underneath the the deck. Is the door solid? Uh, yeah. Like if you pick at it with a knife, the the wood is pretty soft on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. The moss well, is open. Let's open it. I guess. It it's wait, wait, it's swollen other... a little bit, so you you kind of give a shove and it opens. All right. Any smells or anything coming out? It smells like basement yeah Terrible. so merge these tiles together and make yeah, one mega room the of the house. yeah and then you guys are basically oh, here all right um you're basically there so we you're stamp basically. step in and i have a torch i'm sure the basement's not very well lit it is not very well lit correct what can i see in front of me so what you see is um uh, see now i do need walls damn it can you use pencils? Yeah. Um, this immediate area mm -hmm. is basically one big room. Okay. And you see very not well built, but, you know, shelves, shelves basically. And you see more, w like, food source. Anything um, been jarred? It, it, some of it is jarred. Some of the jars have popped. Some of them seem intact. Well, yeah. um, I don't think jars are intact. Food? It looks like preserves. It looks like okay. some grain that you know mice got into. That kind of stuff. We'll take the intact jars. There is a door 
in the center. How many jars? Uh, just really quick, how many jars are you? Mm, let's say six. Okay. They look like preserved apples. Great. Cinnamon. Maybe they're fermented by now. Yeah. Um, is this door is well intact? It is. Okay. Where's the door? Straight in the, in the middle. middle. Straight in the middle. Fine. So again, we'll listen. Okay. You don't hear anything. Um, I should mention that above this door mm -hmm. is a uh, ceramic circle with the symbol of the one true God. Oh. Okay. Perhaps it's a little... Is there anything that says chaplain. to me, even though it's a cellar crypt? Possibly? Like, is there anything that's like... You feel like in castles that sometimes castles have crypts. Do you want... I, I feel like... The store is kind of your turn. Yeah, I, I, I say it like the, Go, the going through the study. I'm all, I'm all, I'm I'm in. You once you throw a one true god symbol over something, I'm just like uh, that is my purview. I do not want to blaspheme. Like if this is a family crypt and these are like one true god followers, I don't want to just like rip open their crypt and be like, hey. As far as I'm concerned, spray, sir, spray I hold this barrel. deed that says whoever has this can can claim it. And I'm, I plan on giving this thing to the church. Wait, wait, you. Mm. He, has, he did open the door, yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not really intruding on anything. He's given up his ancestral home. This person has given up their ancestral home. It's my duty to find out what it is for the church is good. So, um, yeah, I, I say a quick prayer of the dead, and then I plan on opening the door. I, before you open, he opens the door, I will yes. gently put my torch down on the ground and pull my sword out, just to be safe. Okay. You open the door. Do I know of zombies? Like, do I know of undead? I have a turn undead spell, so I assume you, I do. You know that such things are definitely possible. Okay. Uh, in that how case... How far can we see into the room with the torch on the ground? Um, most of the way. You can't see this last okay. section, That's but fair. you could see that there are big support columns that look like clearly they hold things up. I want to let them know of the dangers oh. of entering somewhere like this, and I want to also oh. say that because of this person's doings, this might be something serious. This person got into some shady business. We don't exactly know what but has there happened to their a ancestors. one true God symbol above the door. It's not Just to keep the stuff. So maybe Fausidius himself was evil, but maybe his family didn't know about. <coughs> he might have been the one bad apple the kind of a situation. Yeah, okay. Kind of like Stephen. <coughs> so. Is that a chest? You, you see um, basically decorated stone reliefs okay. that seem to them? indicate that in front of those reliefs are buried uh, vaults. Okay. And at the far end of the room, you do see on a pedestal a sarcophagus. Okay. Are those stones or just crystal balls? Or? Uh, those are basically additional grave markers. And the, 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 the things in the middle are columns holding up the stones. Yes. Okay. Any dates or names on anything? Yeah, so sure. let's walk in a little bit, maybe. Um, so what you see in the first pair are spell protection from evil. markers for actually for families. iPhones. Like so it, symbols on the markers? Yes. Okay. So. Each of these represents a generation of Chalcidiuses. So you so see, it's like a, if you could go in, it's almost like it's a door that you could go in and find those generations. Uh, yes. Okay. So like these, these represent like you know the fourth generation back, third, second, first generation back. So the okay. The uh, sarcophagus any on the columns or Which anything like that. Sorry. No, no what markings on the columns. Any discolored tiles or tiles that look weird or different? No. Okay. Um, the right. sarcophagus. Yeah, we go to the sarcophagus. Okay. You have the torch, right? I pick up the torch. So as you and get closer. As I get to the sarcophagus, I will set it down again so I can have my sword free. Okay. As you get closer to the sarcophagus, um, you, you see a symbol. It is not the Chalcidius um, symbol that you've seen on all the other crypt markers. It is uh, something very different. Do we I don't like it, that at all. It looks like, uh, well, it's an N, 
I super don't like it. that. Um, it's it's an N in a square. Like I saw ab on a map. Above a mountain. Like I saw on a map, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Really wish I knew what that symbol was. Is that ringing any bells for anybody? No, we didn't recognize it before. Well, I guess I didn't show it to you guys before. I guess I just told no. It's the same. It it is very similar to what you saw on the map. Um. Both it being on. A map. And there is a word. Oh. In common? Um, etched into underneath that that N plaque on the sarcophagus. In common? No. Is it the same? It is the name that you too? saw. That's super awful. Same description. Mensrick. But it's in, okay, so, but it's, it's in this crypt, right? So, like, this isn't an evil crypt, right? This is a crypt that's to the one true God. Why would someone put someone who's evil in a crypt that's dedicated to the one true God. Why would I? Go ahead and make me a search roll. Everyone? Balls. No. Oh, wait, answer. that's a six sided. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, wait, I don't answer. Here you have a one. I no. have a one. Nailed it. Um, the stone slab at the top of the sarcophagus is not flush. Like, it's not closed. Yeah, yeah. No, it's closed, but it's not. It's openable. Like suppose that this should be. Oh, that's fail. Suppose that it should be like flush. It's mm. more like that. Mm. Like. I point this out. So, aren't, aren't to my knowledge, sarcophagus is sarcophagi supposed to be sealed? Yes, and the fact that this is not. And this is also this, does, this does not belong. I'll I'll point out to you that you guys would would know this, especially you, the priest, that normally people buried are buried in wooden caskets in the earth under the, the dogma of, of the church. Or right. Or Number one. Number two, if they're buried in a crypt, they're buried in a wooden coffin. Your stone sarcophagus doesn't isn't a thing. Yeah. Like well, maybe it's just a door and there's stairs that go down. Under I know, there. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know this seems bad, but I want to open it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to prepare us uh, that I will say that this is not something that we should take lightly. This is an abomination to what should be down here. That's and that's fair. Let me. So I have three spell slots, right? That's how my character works. Mm hmm. Um, I'm gonna cast protection from evil on him. Can I ask? Well, okay. Can I ask a question? Yes. In this game, can he detect evil? Yes. As like an action? Um, I'm not really sure. Okay. I think it's a spell. So just about a game. I've got cure light wounds, protection from evil, turn on dead. I kind of don't want to waste it. Sure. Why don't you just hold back? If something looks okay. funky, climbs out, then you know. Well, Detect okay, so let me do this. Before, before, I, before I open the sarcophagus, mm -hmm. okay. I hold the torch up to where the gap is, where it's not quite sealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there wind blowing? No. I'm going to do it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna then I'll, I'll ready my weapon instead. I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, someone get ready to hand me mine. I'm going <laughs> to put my weapons down so I can maybe do a roll and grab them really quick, right? Like, you just get out of the way and back up and grab them, like, retreat and grab them really quick. Right. I go to the sarcophagus lid. How heavy is it? Like, it's heavy. Like crowbar and maybe two people heavy. What's your strength? Oh, it's pretty high. Oh, no, it's not. I almost caught 14. Well, it's, it's not bad. It's, I think you're the best. Here. Yeah, I, I can help him with the lid if you want to cover us because you're Mr. Weapon. Or do you guys want me to cover you guys? Either way, I, I can help him. I'm, I know this is my job that I need to All figure right. out what's oh, in here, no, so. I don't care. I'm with you. I'll help you. Um, you know what? I'll have the torch ready to toss over there and uh, maybe a right, I'll try to do it by myself. Oh, wait. I'm, all I'm going to try to do is, you know how you have them back to back like this, right? This is, let's say this is the sarcophagus, and you said it's very slightly akimbo. Like yes. This. All I'm going to try to do is shut it off. Like slide it Just so slide it doesn't it. fall to the floor? I'm not floor, trying to like flip the lid I'm, because that's going to be a lot easier you're, to try You're going to try to slide it. Slide it. And I'm going to try to slide it fast, right? Like I'm going to shove. But are you just going to go off or spin? 
Good question. Because if you spin, then it doesn't break, and we can reseal it if something happens. I'm gonna spin. You know, I mean like. Well, but if I go off and it just kind of does this, right? We no. could possibly still put no. it back. No. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try to do this. Ready? Okay. Roll under strength. Can't fail me now. Nope. It's heavy. Roll under strength. I rolled super under strength. Thirteen to roll to five. Okay. The two of you managed to crank it back, not to the degree that you had hoped, but so that it slides open enough mm -hmm. to, with the torchlight, reveal a corpse. It is long dead, completely desiccated, and it looks like the corpse of an old man. And its arms, like in a rigor mortis, are like this. Anything like, it and its or hands are like this. Or anything like There's that? nothing in its hands. It look like it was something, and if so, like they like rigor mortis is like GI Joe kung fu. It right? looks like perhaps the corpse was buried, holding something, because its hands look like it would be holding something. Let me see that book. Can I see that book? Yeah. Maybe? I just kind of. Yep. It. You slide the book in, and it literally fits, like as if it had been buried with this book. So somebody took it out, went upstairs, read it, and then disappeared. But that doesn't necessarily make this guy evil. No. But his name was associated with evil when you remember it. His name is associated with the book. With the language that, you know. But didn't you remember the, the name, didn't that ring a bell to your character as something that was like it not? It rang a bell to my character okay. as evil. Okay. But here he is here. Like maybe someone who dabbled who isn't necessarily the and and for what dabbled. it's worth, the clothing is obviously also rotten. But like it looks like at one time, this this would have been like the thick, heavy clothing of, of like the nobility oh. of of no from sword, where you're no not sure. Or anything. You you want to search? Kind of. yeah. I mean, I put a book all right, hand. you're holding you're holding the torch. <laughs> you can't see a, a a sword buried with this person. But you you do see something like maybe a knife of some kind or dagger in in a belt. Maybe, maybe take I'll that. I'll take it. Yeah. Are there okay. Any rings on the hands? Yes. Like six rings. Rings. Um, I would like to disarm it. That okay. Good. You carefully kind of reach in. Uh huh. You notice that the pommel of the dagger is in the shape of a, a serpent's head and it has like little things like basically it's like a serpent's head okay, at the pommel. Okay, I'm going to be careful that when I grab the pommel, yeah. that the things can't in case it animates, bite into me. So okay. like, maybe I'll take it like, if this is the serpent's head, right? And the things are this way, maybe I'll take the dagger like this right. by the head and be like... Hmm. Okay, you do. You carefully pull it out. It yeah. looks like an extremely well-crafted dagger. Probably want the sheath with it. Yeah, I probably want the sheath with it too. I'll hold the dagger like this. <laughs> okay. You um, you kind of unbuckle on. the belt and pull the sheath off. Can I just write this down as fancy dagger with sheath? Call it serpent dagger. Okay. Um, I look at the dagger. It is finely crafted. It is no, a masterwork dagger. At, I'm looking at the blade, the curvature of the blade. The the blade is straight. It's nothing like ritualistic or anything like that. There's no runes on the blade. There's no. Nope. Um, yes. There's there aren't runes, but there's a mark. A mark with the same mark on the. It's a square with the end inside of it. Huh. All right. I'll put the dagger. Does the the serpent ring a bell in terms of anything? Oh, that's a good uh, un Unholy. Go ahead. Make, what am I, am I rolling? Uh, well, I rolled a fucking eighteen. Actually, all of you can make an intelligence <laughs> God roll. God damn it. <laughs> Can we kill something now? Because I'm going to slay it I in one shot. Run. There you go. You have this flashback. Okay. Um, did you also roll under? Oh, we can share a flashback. Aww. You have a flashback yeah. of sitting around a campfire with a bunch of soldiers and basically, like, you know, telling ghost stories and stuff. And you remember people talking about. Um, the Northern Kingdom, and and who ruled the Northern Kingdom? You you know. don't in this memory you don't remember the name of the Northern Kingdom. You don't remember. You just remember ghost stories about the Northern Kingdom, 
and terrible monsters and you know how the, the northern kingdom fell who did it fall to you don't know exactly but you remember one of the ghost stories having to do with giant serpents they fell to giant serpents among other things you have this memory of reading books by candlelight in some room in some monastery you can't remember exactly where but like almost like catacombs level where you have this dusty old book and you're reading about the northern kingdom and you like little flashes of, of where you see like the n in the square um you you read you you remember you know stories about unparalleled achievements and in, in their civilization and but ultimately they delved too deep and you know the the, the kingdom fell I share that. I do stress the part that I was studying in a monastery. <laughs> I, um, do you want to take the you, Your gut instinct yeah. is that you probably shouldn't have been studying that. I, um, will, I will get I my have somebody's permission. Give me my own. <laughs> I will get my shield and sword ready while you attempt to take the rest. Yeah. There might be some clues just, on these. I'm at the rest. Nothing happens. The corpse is actually dead. It, it, you have to snap the fingers off to get the rings. Um, I mean, normally, uh, it's not a good, it's not a good course. Do I know of any like rituals that I would perform to like, you know, okay, this is this is clearly a, a form of sacrilegiousness going on in in an, an area that should be you meant feel for like true God. You yeah. feel like this burial was not in accordance with the one true God. Like, first of all, the body is not in earth; it's in a stone sarcophagus. I kind of want to get this body out of this. I do too. I kind of want to drag this thing the fuck out of here and burn it. Um, I mean, well, let's just do it. Place. Let's do it carefully so that we don't lose any clues. Well, that's true. When we move the mm -hmm. when we move the body of the sarcophagus, there may still be things hidden in the sarcophagus. Right. All right. Again, it might be trapped as well. We should be very careful with this. We yeah. Well, do we want to put rope on it and drag it out? Not a dare. I mean, <laughs> that's not. The horse would just <laughs> cinch a lasso around his feet, be like. Ugh! <laughs> Just go, Pete. One finger, two fingers. <laughs> drum, well, drum a sack. And and I should mention that that mini decoration is not to scale. Like this is a big sarcophagus. Is he okay. a big guy? You feel like, you know, when you were peeking in there, like, you're you're like, hmm, like, more than six feet tall, like maybe six six. How much space is he? Like this person was well, the sarcophagus is like eight feet long. And this person is nestled in there and is probably six foot six. Wow. Which is extremely tall for shoulders, this entire region. Shoulders right. look wide and Yes. Well, I mean but you also so? but he also looks like an old man. So not unnaturally like, so, but like he died as an old man, so Alright. Well, I think we uh yeah. Yeah, I don't like the body in here. You know, do you I wanna say prayers body. over everything as we uh start get out. it out? Yeah, I want to say a prayer to our God to give us strength to carry out his work. Sorry. This is an abomination there, is there, in his home. Before we move the body, is there any indications on, like, broken bones or anything of how he died? Mm, no. Could just be old age as far as I mean, know. do you pull him out and inspect him? I mean, we can do it before we burn him. Yeah, right. Pull him out I, I, I think we're, I think we inspect as we're pulling him out. Yeah. I mean, like... Start with the legs, get the legs Certainly. up. Yeah. Let's get this top completely Built. off of here. Well, yeah, all right. Because we're going to have to drag this thing out of here. Spin it. To I'll spin it. Okay. You guys kind of... It's, it's a lot easier to slide it back in place. The stone, the stone grates against the stone, and you, but you get it so that you could at least pull him out. Wait a minute. I really want to get in the sarcophagus with him, but I'm going to get in the sarcophagus and look if there's any sort of writing on the underside of the Well, as we spin it, some of it yeah. on the outside. So let's look. Is there any sort of writing on the underside? There of is. Mm. Etched into the stone is like a whole paragraph in that language. You're on. All right. Well, let's get, can we get the body out first before yeah, we yeah, go yeah. in and look? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll wake up. That's, that's a good point. <laughs> it's not. You know. Okay. You get the body out. I shouldn't yeah. say that because I don't think I've ever uh, seen the body wake up. You, it, yeah. as I said, like the, you know, the body is desiccated at this point. Uh, there, there's like a tunic. Um, a sh you know, shirt, tunic, uh, belt, 
pants, Bobo? socks, so uh, let's just, let's soft just shoes. Any besides the rings? Any other metal? like belt buckle? No, just the just the buckle. Yeah. How long would I guess this body's been here? If I am given my slight medical knowledge, my knowledge of burying people, I have no concept. I, you haven't seen. I mean. A long time. Okay. Is the belt buckle hundred maybe more years? Wow. Okay. Is the belt buckle ornate? Is um. <laughs> no, not really. Oh, it's just a basic belt buckle. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> on the bottom, like it's clear that like he putrefied and you know liquids. Yeah. Um, yeah. Although not as much as you might think. Like, to the extent where like. He's more like a mummy than a corpse that was buried in the ground. Does the lid show any signs that it was once there? Yes. Okay. There's, there's clearly like calcified, like, you know, hardened, uh, like wax that. All right. All right. We get the body out? Yep. All right, All right we carry it outside. We'll leave it outside for right now. Any rings or anything with insignia, anything to. Or just like, valuable for are you t are you stripping them down? Yeah. Okay. You look for cause of death. You you like, you take off the tunic, the shirt. He is wearing a um, gold chain oh. with a symbol of a serpent in a circle. You got that, or do you want me to? Oh, well, unless you you mean. I don't want to hold on to it. You hold on to that. I don't want to touch this fucking thing. Okay. What well, does it mean? Something. I mean, do I know what this means? Other you have than no idea what that means. It's yeah. The same, it's clearly the same serpent that's on the dagger, though. Um, it's a serpent. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Now that we have exhumed the corpse and cut it out of here. You also uh, notice that there is a scorch mark. Where? Like, on the torso. Like, near, like kind of like of near the heart. Sign of death? Possible sign of death? Yeah, like it's, the tissue is scarred and, like, there's no puncture, but it, it looks like, like a burn, basically, like a, a scar. Or a lightning bolt, maybe? Okay. All right, let's go read the... So the necklace with the serpent symbol and six rings. Let's yep. go read the thing before we burn this body. Bracelets, bracers... Nope. Just fine clothes. Very, very wealthy lifestyle. One staff yeah. rod. Not yet. No. I mean, we haven't shot, searched the car. Scepter. No. <laughs> is the sarcophagus padded? Helm of teleportation. <laughs> um, it is not. It's, not a, it's a bare bones concrete sarcophagus. Stone, yeah. All right. Well, All right. Now check the writing. Well, yeah. Do we want to burn the body for a couple yeah. of Yeah. Yeah. The writing's gonna be there. Um, I will take one of the extra vials of oil that we found in the dead guy, and okay. I will douse him with his clothes and everything. Okay. Um, do you want to say? There's. Oh, I'm, I'm like, making a proclamation about how we have rid this place of this evil, and we intend to to make sure that it is cleansed. Clean. Yeah. Or that the, the 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 body that once corrupted this this family or this this uh, this tomb has been exhumed. And uh, we, we intend to, to cleanse the rest of it and, and pray that our God will protect us. Okay. Um, you say the prayers, you're burning the body. And then I'm going to go in with him because we're not going to leave anyone by themselves yeah. while he reads okay. the prayer. Okay. It burns quickly, no, like good. dried wood. Good. Glad. Bastard. Okay. Um, how. Uh, so, I'm, I'm so are you trying to just rotate? And like read one chunk and then rotate it back yeah, the other way. Yeah, seems safe. Okay, so you you basically don't shatter it. You're you're kind of doing it in parts. The first part that you're able to read in in this script, um, in summary, describes that here lies Mensrick of Nargenheim. Nargenheim. Now do we get the bell? Does that ring a bell? N a r g u n h e i m. Advisor to the king oh. of the fourth dynasty. Okay. Nothing? That doesn't scare mm. anything? And holy man huh. of the serpent mount. Have I heard of that? Nope. Yep. None of you have heard of any of that, nor does that jog any memories. This is, this is, we'll look this up when we get to town. We've got to have a library. Yep. I'm reading the words as I know them. However, they have absolutely no meaning to me whatsoever. Uh, you rotate and read the bottom half of it. 
um, emissary to the Southlands. Okay. And Warden of the South. If he's so great, I Founder go of House Calcidius. Mm -hmm. Well, that's different. Mm. So he's really, really old. Yeah. Um, You've never like heard the term the Southlands. Oh, that's right. It was just Southport. In the borderlands is where we're at. Borderlands, so. Southport. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Does the word Calcidius mean anything to us? Like. So this guy's a lot. I was I was anticipating him to be like you know. Sixty years old or seventy. Uh, I mean, much like older. And so now we're talking about a founder of a house. Founder of a house and religious man. Does the serpent riders. Does the fourth dynasty part mean anything Serpent. to us? Nope. Okay. Serpent what? Holy man of the serpent mount. Serpent mount. So. It means nothing. Okay, it's more of a mountain than a mount. mount. We don't know serpent mount. Probably if it right means mountain. mount like mountain or serpent mount, mount does it really mount like riding. Yeah. Ooh. Damn you English. Um, I still... Why would an evil priest start a house of followers of the one true God. Quick question, how old is the religion of the one true God? Hundreds of years old. Okay. Older than his body, or as old, if nothing else. So, but if this is a founder of a noble house, his religion could predate the one true God, or at least it's formalized worship. So I know the house means family really more mm -hmm. than an actual building. FYI. But this building's on a You get this little, this little tinge of, you're like, hmm, is what he's saying right now blasphemy? Kind of sounds blasphemous. So how do you know so much about religions outside of the one true God? There haven't been any, I mean, other than the low people and the mongrels that I have dealt with in the past, no one knows of these things. Well, I was doing some work for the Inquisitor and studied in a monastery. Maybe I was supposed to learn this stuff, to know what to look for. I mean, we were riding here. We were riding here. Yeah. So was I. But he was I was actually riding here. You guys were walking us. in the rain. I was riding. He was, he was working for the Inquisitor that hired us. Which makes me suspect that Inquisitor even more. Because everything went fucking. Do I fucking remember any reason not to trust the Inquisitor? All right, I super don't trust No? Him. Oh, wait, you're questioning the Inquisitor? Did you hear that? <laughs> oh. Hey, throw your, throw your blink over another way. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I don't like it down here. I think we should leave. <laughs> Is there anything else inside of the sarcophagus yeah, that we can... Stone, he said it was stone. Wait, hold on. Give me, let me take my torch. Now I take my torch, and I run around the bottom of the sarcophagus. Is there any wind blowing from there? No. Okay. It is very firmly in place in the floor of I this. I don't even think we need to replace this lid. I'm not putting the effort in This there. is fucking weird. Why would this guy have this all this stuff down here to the one true god if nobody was going to go down here and see it? Oh, so me, the one true God symbols and the other burials don't look as old as his, clear, no. clearly. Right. Yeah. So maybe they converted. Tried to, maybe they converted the, the boy. The as boy. as you kind of ruminate on this and you're looking, it it seems like the family vaults that 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 it almost goes historically like the furthest back as the oldest, That's and awesome. then comes to the more recent generations. Well, I still don't like it here. And, and the, yeah. the, the plaques you know, on the front of these have a, a specific number of names that also match the family portraits that you saw mm -hmm. oh. in the parlor. Okay. What time of day is it now? It's probably by the time you've done all this, I would say five. So it's kind of nearing dusk. We should probably go back in the house. You know, let's find a nice secure spot to hold. I mean, the parlor seems, I don't hate the fact that it's open. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and we can close the doors. The doors in the parlor are still fine, right? The interior of the first floor seemed very intact. We never we went to the second floor, And then floor, we can though. wash the tower. Yeah, I don't know that I want to open up the second floor just yet. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good here. Let's just, you know, counter Why don't we, um, so my plan, I don't know about you guys, is we go to the parlor. I use the pittance to wedge the doors closed. Right. Sounds weird. Mind if we put the pictures outside? No. <laughs> no, that's not weird to me. My, my own out-of-game childhood was like, yeah, all right. Like I saw Poltergeist and I had this like a uh, clown film Troclus doll and that thing could never sleep at my night. <laughs> I never that ever again. Like that can go in the guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, let's take the pictures outside. We're not defaming anything. They were one true god followers. We're not like I'm not, I'm not saying not, we put them in the uh, you know. We're not we put them in the parlor. Put just, them in the office. Put them in the office. Um it's but great. I would like Well, we're gonna have to set up a watch. I would like to face the sofas towards the tower. Well, I don't like this at all. What's your point? You don't like anything. I don't. Especially not this. Sorry. You are a very old school Catholic priest like, aren't you? It's new gaming. It's friars. Yeah, it's, it's the only thing I know. Your. <laughs> you do Catholic school, so yeah. I went to Fenwick, the friars. Uh, your. <sighs> so I'm going <gonna>, <sighs> to seal the doors. Right? Yep. Yeah. So they're wedge closed. Uh, Front and back doors. And if there's anything else. And the interior doors. Like seating. Yeah. Um. I have four, so sure. Um, well, wait, you saw that bell? Mm hmm. So let's put the bell on the, let's tie the bell to the first, the front door at least, because we can bar the back door. Okay. Okay, yeah. you do. And then I'll pit on us in, okay. right? And if there's any also heavy furniture yep. that isn't a sofa, maybe I will place that also in front of the door. The desk in the other room is heavy. All right. Like if you, want you to move a desk. Yeah. Well, does the other room close? Yeah, I want to eye that tower at night, though. I don't want that tower to be out of sight at night. That's fine. You can see it. All right. So we do that. We secure ourselves in the night. I light a fire in the fireplace. Yes. Is flu opens? The flu opens and everything? Yep. We don't need CLR log. To make By sure the, the time you're fire. done doing all this, it's, I'm going to say it's like six, six o'clock. It's getting dark. Mm -hmm. um, you back. notice that like it's it's also kind of the temperatures dropped. And you see a lot of cloud cover overhead. I it super like it's don't like that. It it feels damp outside. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, we're sealed. We have yep. fire. We have food. We have I mean, we have lots of food now. We're swimming in food because of the farm. Um, I just want to maybe wedge the sofa. Look at have the sofas. Make sure we're looking out that window to that tower. Okay. To be clear, at some point in time, all of you feel the urge to use. To empty your bowels. Is there a bed? There's like a, you know. A, there might be bedpans upstairs, or I you could mine earlier. I did or, or you could use the. To, all right, I will unjam a door and go to the bathroom. Okay. Wow, plumbing, and then I'll go back. I mean, and I'll reseal. We can, yeah. All things considered, I will live in a house that has a bunch of man shit in it even though I don't like that, to avoid, I'm fucking, I hate this plan, I'm terrified of this place, I want to run away. Go after I do, I'll guard the bathroom. Yeah. Either way. One, I'll stand in this night. door, you stand at the other door. Do so the windows goes. open? No. Uh, say if he will just get you, them. once you get the fire going, it's nice and warm. Um, you guys relieve yourselves, you have food, you have rations. We have rations. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. You, you have some of the food that was gifted to you, and you, no, uh, I, I want to say rations, I kind of want to save the bigger piece, don't you guys? Okay. Oh no, we have to eat it though before it goes bad. So yeah. we'll have bread and cheese and yeah. the pan and stuff. It's it's warm. The bread. It's comfortable. It's it's probably the most comfortable that you've felt in a long time. Uh, the chairs are comfortable. The the settee and the couch are comfortable. Um, and it is now nighttime, and you hear the pitter patter of rain. I we feel deeply distrustful of this place. Last time? Sure. Uh, who went first? Did you go first? I think I was supposed to be the one who slept first so I could yes. get my spells back the okay. quickest. And then, uh, who went second? I don't remember. So I was last watch. I, I don't think I went second. You were last watch. Yeah. So yes. I went. You first watch, I second watch. Okay. Just there we go. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm going to spend some of the time reading the book. Okay. I'm going to whittle with this servant dagger and see how sharp it is. See if it's unusually sharp compared to my other dagger. Uh, it's surprisingly sharp for something that's been that's sitting in a sheath years. for a long time. I also sharpened my weapons during my watch too. Okay. Just kinda uh, Hagar, you go to sleep first? 
Uh, not before doing a whole lot of praying and soul searching um, and trying to consider and like, well, you know, basically begging my God. I'm like, I feel so helpless in this situation. I feel like my compatriots know more than I do. And if it's if that's the God, if that's God's will, the one true God's will, then so be it. But if if there's anything he can do to enlighten the path for me on what 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 we should do next, okay, whether it be in, in conscious or in dream. No. Um, your, in fact, what you could do is just pinch this and move it a little lower. Um, you, you pray on this for some time, um, and then you go to sleep. Make a wisdom roll under. That's the one thing I might be able to get. Come on. There we go. By a lot. Your finally. Your up and it's like, get out. <laughs> By how much? Uh, so I, I have a 14 and wisdom roll to 7. Okay. I like to do degrees of success. Yeah. So that is, that is a significant degree of success. Um, as you are sleeping, you have some weird dreams. That's Initially, they just right. seem disconnected. But then the dream kind of goes into the sound of rain. And you hear rain, and then you are marching in a column. And you see that it's raining just heavy, heavy downpour. And flashes of lightning in the sky. And then there's a flash of lightning, and you see illuminated by this flash of lightning, you see the tower, and you see the four spikes. You see the lightning hit one of the four spikes, and then it jumps to each of the four and continues, and it's kind of just jumping. You see like crackling lightning jumping between these four things, and then you see the lightning converge and kind of shoot up at the top of the tower, and then everything goes black, like a blinding flash of light, and everything goes black. You are on the first watch. Yeah. It is pouring rain now. Yep. You hear thunder, you see lightning in the sky off to the distance. I'm also watching the tower. Okay. At some point during this storm, the lightning begins to strike closer. To the house? Like to, to where you are. Like at first it was kind of on the horizon as so the storm was like blowing in. Rolling yes. In. And and then, you know, downpours of rain. Heavy, heavy rain. The lightning lights and you are like you're looking out the window avidly blinding flash you see that uh lightning hits one of the four spires uh -huh. and it begins to actually circulate between the four spires and you see this continuous bright light just jumping around rapidly between the four spires uh -huh. and then you see it shoot upward at the top of the tower for the briefest moment you see something on top of the tower light up blinding bright, bright light, and then it goes dark again. The storm has continued, but you don't see any more lightning. Lightning dies down, tower dies down. Lightning off in other directions, the storm is blowing through. No activity in the tower, looking at the windows. And... No light in the tower, no activity in the tower. Well, I don't necessarily wake you guys up because it's over, and you're sleeping, and you're sleeping, you need your rest, but I'll continue walking that tower and be like, okay. oh, look at it. Hours go by, your watch is finished. I wake you up. You know, this crap happened. And I tell you all about the tower. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. It is still raining, but not, you don't see any lightning anywhere in the area. Like, like every once in a while you'll hear like distant thunder. Like it stuck, struck that one and it went and then pew at the top. And then there's something at the top. I don't know. Something takes. Well, I don't know, but it explains why the guy had a grappling hook. No, I didn't think it was moving. I was blind. Like, it hit it, and I was like, I couldn't, I surprised it didn't wake you up. That's how bright it was. Wow. But maybe that's why the guy had a grappling hook. Maybe there's something on the tower that's bad. Well, glad we're here then for now. Yeah. I'm like, well, that was super weird. And I hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asleep. Time to hit the oh, Look at okay. that. You curl up on the settee. It's super cozy. Mm -hmm. Stoke, you know, throw some wood in the fire. fire. Yep. Uh, All right, second watch. Oh, okay. also, by the way, this dagger, sharp as hell. Look at this I mean, I kind of want it back, but I'll let you play with it. I go to bed. It is the most well forged dagger that you've ever seen. Wow. Um, it is. It's balanced. It's sharp as hell. It's sharp as hell. And I didn't even sharpen it. Are, are you like examining it? Go and make a search roll. Yeah, there you go. 
you're like, hey, wait a minute. And you notice that like the pommel, like the serpent head pommel can be turned. Like you're like, hmm, this is, cr like it's threaded, like screwed on. I'm asleep, can we get rock? Yeah, I'm asleep. I'm no, okay. No point waking, nothing portable wake up yet. You I'm twist it off. Dead, I'm really sad. Yeah. You pull it off and you see that there are like four kind of metal rods that are holding onto a glass vial and inside of that glass vial is a thick, goopy red liquid. Anything else that I can see? I mean, there's a cork stopper in it. Yeah, uh, my, my thing is I'm not trying to take it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put that back till we get to talk about it and look at it later. The, but unless there's like, oh yeah, there's some bunch of ruins. And from a happens. tinkering perspective, you're like, wow, whoever made this was ahead of their time. Yeah. Because if this thing is as old as he was, this is incredible. Like, well, who said something? Oh, hmm? do, do we share, hmm. to, was it you that had a recall about um, about the north and being beyond, like uh, I mean, it was, but I don't know that he shared it. Okay. So Do any of your specialist skills include, by some chance, use magic item? There is nothing like that in this edition, as far as I know. All right, make an intelligence roll on her. Way hell under. yeah! Roll a two. On a fourteen. You feel like that red liquid must be somehow special because it didn't rot through the cork. Hmm. Mm. Um, and it's very viscous, like very thick, goopy. Okay. And it's not dried out, like it's... I feel like you're going to take the red liquid and be like, well, here's your dagger back. <laughs> no, no, I'm just screwing that back. Uh, but now I was going to say, as far as the book, I was going to look for anything relative to the towers or lightning, you know, in the book, but now I'm also going to really be interested in this. You, you do read through the book. You spend your watch doing that, mm -hmm. still storming outside. Um, you read, uh, and there's information about the Kingdom of Nargenheim. Oh. And specifically, um, it would appear that that the mines in the kingdom were incredibly productive uh, with vol rich volumes of gold and silver, as well as other ores that could be used in metallurgy to, to create wondrous things. Okay. Uh, there's a whole section about metallurgy um, involving the creation of alloys, <coughs> mixing things with iron, mixing nickel with iron and other properties. Um, there's an entire section <coughs> in, involving copper as a conduit for electrical energy. There's a section that involves harnessing electrical energy. Great, the tower's off good. And this is pages and pages of handwritten journal entries and notes and occasionally like sketches of of things, which to your tinkering eyes is like mind boggling. Like showing like these devices, like these iron rods wrapped in copper and, and like demonstrating um, kind of what the, the harnessing electrical power. Okay. Oh. Um, later on in these entries, you see a formula for metallurgy that involves smelting specific quantities of iron and nickel and copper to harness electrical power. 
and there's like ingredients that involve like powdered forms of specific metals as well as like smelted solid forms. Fairly interesting. All right. Take a couple minutes. Thank you. Hours go by. You are tired. Um, and you feel like it's only, you know, a few hours away from dawn. So you uh, presumably go to wake up uh, Agar. That's me. And you feel rested, uh, though disturbed by the strange <laughs> dream that you had. You actually remember the entirety of that dream. Like you remember as if it wasn't a dream, as if maybe you remember that. No, I didn't ask Say, uh, some stuff I found out that we'll talk about in the morning, but I'm, I'm fortunate right now. Same. My dreams Thank were you. plagued with what seemed like memories. Something I would like to bring back to the whole group once we're all awake. Mm. You guys want more, just let me know. You don't tell me anything about anything else? That's oh, just it. And this is it's Dagger. It's, I just, you know, I'm just going to set it by him. Which, but that's part of what we're going to talk about. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend my uh, time burning, <laughs> burning everything in the house that I think is evil. No, um, I'm going to be reading the ledger and try to see if there's. Just get familiar with the names, get familiar with the timelines, get familiar with the families, um, and try to think who might be a good source of information on this. Um, who are people that were, you know, the most avid in pay, paying and, and bringing in money for this group? This ledger looks like it was definitely a period of maybe the last six years. Okay. Um, under this Lord Calcidius. Um, you find no record of any other family. You find no other uh, record of of note, um, other than some purchases, although they're not specifically. Unlike everything else, which is meticulous, there are some records of purchases of materials from Southport um, that the quantities of which were very costly. But it, it specifically doesn't delineate what was purchased. Hmm. I'm going to do the same thing he was doing. I'm going to keep my eye on that fucking tower because I don't trust anything about it. It would say from whom it was purchased, though. Do I have a, is it a name I would recognize? Mm, I have to look that up. Okay. House Niccolo. You could make an intelligence roll under. Can't wait till we start fighting. The name doesn't ring a bell. I need to bring my goddamn dice. <laughs> this is a perfect team for me. I never will. <laughs> a few more hours go by. You wake up. You wake up. You're already awake. You've said your prayers. You've reflected on this. So, um, I'm sorry about that. It is morning. I'll say well into morning, maybe like 9 a.m. All right, so check this out. I'm sleeping, right? Lightning drove it in. And all of a sudden, the lightning bolt hits one of those things, and it bounces the other, and it bounces the other, and it bounces the other, and it kept speeding up, and shot straight up in the air, and there's something on top of there. I don't know what it is. How did the lightning bounce from, from okay. pole to pole? Hit one of those obelisk things? Well, this book has some stuff in it about copper specifically as a conduit for energy and harnessing. There's some 
formulas for metals melting and mixing. You know, so it looks like, it sounds like they were experimenting. But, more so, why don't you go ahead and twist the hilt on your dagger. The hilt? While he's doing that, I say interesting. That I was looking through the ledger last night, and everything is kept in meticulous detail, except for some random purchases of um, things that were quite expensive from from somewhere in Southport. And it wasn't specific on what, but it was bought from House Nicolo. Does that ring a bell with any of you? Mm. Does it? Roll, roll. Six. Eleven under fourteen. That's a noble family. Oh yeah. You a fairly fairly well known noble family from Southport. And you feel like not just a no noble family, but one of like the big noble families, like who are involved with the council. The council. <clears throat> the council is the ruling body of the city state of Southport. I have a feeling of inner dread that this <clears throat> sort of evil can has a vast extensive reach throughout this area given all the evil we've seen so far and that's just the surface. We've only been awake for what, a, a week? Five days? Three days? Right? I mean, I mean, we don't know that we were sleeping though while we were gone. We don't know we weren't doing under things. I mean, just in, in the time we've woken up, I yeah, mean, yeah. since we like found each other in that forest, it's only been a couple of days. Right. We've already seen plenty of weird evil shit. So I twist the dagger. Where? You see a hollowed the hilt the the um, hilt is is metal, mm -hmm. but it's hollowed and it feels sturdy. Yes, mm -hmm. um, and it it inside when you pull off the serpent head, there are four thin rods that suspend a glass thick glass vial with viscous, red, goopy liquid inside and a cork. I look inside the hole? Does it look like it's like something that punctures a cork or anything like that? No, but it looks like you could Coke. pull it out. Hmm. I, I didn't get that far. I just saw what it was, closed it up, and figured we'd look at yeah, it in a better so light of Do you know what it is? Or? Is that an odor? I'm not opening the cork. Does it have an odor? Not that you could smell. Was that removing the core? Yeah. Are the four little rods? Are they made out of just iron or the little things? They look like they're made out of whatever the dagger is made out of. Huh. What is the dagger made out of? It looks like iron to you, but it's wicked sharp. Very sharp, very sturdy, very well balanced. Do you use the dagger a lot? Is that one of your primary attacks? I use a sword like any. I'm just asking, right? No, that dagger's in the dark. Look at that. Scandalous. Alright. Uh, I'm going to put the dagger in my belt holes. I'm going to put it, the sheath on my belt. Okay. Yeah. It's better than my dagger, so. Do I consider that blasphemous? I mean, you don't know the significance of the serpent okay. thing, so. I mean, you have this suspicion. Like, you're like, hmm. I, I let him know. I'm like, that might not be something you want people in the public eye to see. Just, just a warning. Because I, I, I think I, over here, I'm going to keep it there. Here, yeah, sure, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring this into town. Speaking of that, I'll make a good point. I would, to at some point, separate the uh, serpent symbol from the gold chain. Gold <laughs> chain. You unclasp it and yeah. sl slide it off. Yeah. 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 So you know, one isn't necessarily associated with the other. Yep. You you said so, last sorry you said yeah, last night there crazy. was. You didn't wake you up. That was crazy lightning struck. Around. It might have had something to do with my dream. What I, dream? I dreamed. Did I tell you that the corpses rings? What did I tell you? You said six, tell six so rings, and I asked you about them, and you just the, lost them. There are six gold so bands. So I rolled down six rings. There are six gold bands. Six gold rings, not silver. Hmm. Like, you, you feel like even though they're not ornate jewelry, like, they're gold. Like, they're, each one of those is worth a lot. Okay. I had a dream last night of the night where we were, we were walking, not riding. We were walking to the 
uh, towards this tower. Like and, and I remember seeing a, something, soldiers, something also. similar to what you described, a lightning strike, a massive flash of light. Right? Is that what you saw? Yeah, except there's something up there. I'm curious to find out whether what's inside of this dagger is somehow activated, brought well, to life by the, like I'm, I'm curious to see if we were to look at this vial of whatever's in here in time with what you saw, if something would happen to it, or if uh, it would... All I know is, is that why the guy died, maybe? Seems like the fellow outside sure learned his lesson, but... I don't know who would be trying to but, climb this in the middle of a, oh, of a, of a storm. Yes, because those were awesome. Thank you. Um... Huh. Still very the, unsure. The storm, as to, what to be clear, by the way, the storm has passed. Like it's yeah. a nice sunny day out. There's you hear birds chirping. I say we, despite we're probably going to go upstairs, we're going to be upstairs. Yeah. I say we camp here not tomorrow night again and see if another storm. Come on, thank you. I'm curious to see if another if it's like a nightly occurrence. Yeah, I wonder. That's what I'm saying, and I. Storms. If that's the case, I would like to see if uh, this red liquid has any uh, sort of reaction to a storm or to the the lightning I'm hitting. Not the red liquid scares me a little. But it's still in the dagger. I also wonder too if like you remember Kodar weapons with poison or assassins? Did I ever hear about like assassins coating weapons with You've like, heard of foul things like that, yes. I wonder if the red liquid's like a poison. You've also heard of low people doing that. Mm. Like coating their their stone weapons in in like like awful, like you know, dead meat and, and feces and stuff. Feces. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Phil Allen World. I am Wizzy the Wizard. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button, and also watch videos that are over there. Tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching, and watch other shows featuring Phil. He made me say that, because he's a narcissist. Okay, bye.